five mm -hmm. copies a day with 30 day payments up front guide them to places no one else has found so she'll help us mm -hmm. if we help her on her quest or yes month payment mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, as, as I can go to the jungle. They've not got a bad option just for the sake. They might be able to reduce their rate for an equal share of treasure. Well, it won't be the ultimate treasure, will it? Oh, no, maybe, no, no. And maybe I can persuade them. Oh, well, yes. I mean, I shouldn't be taking part in this discussion because I'm currently. <laughs> yes. I'm, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I'm questioning the bartender, so it's like either. <laughs> And I've got... It's between you three, I think. You're going to have to make a decision for us, and we'll just have to go with My it. persuasion is free, so I might be a bit persuasive. Um, I don't trust Pyro and Gondola. My persuasion is yeah. five. Yeah, me, me neither. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a monk. <laughs> <laughs> My persuasion is... Minus one, yay! <laughs> <laughs> he is not a persuasive man. <laughs> My persuasion is six <laughs> plus six. You are a giant black scale dragon. Very persuasive. He's surprisingly persuasive for a giant dragon man. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Who apparently the gods are smiling on. I would go with Iku. She seems to be really seeking out what we may be seeking out. We are looking for ancient temples, evil. Actually, this kind of works with what we have been yeah. asked with. Yeah. So for Iku, it would be. I would go for Iku. Even mm. if Azaka seems to be needing help. That's true. But we might be able to get something from the, the fire finger as well. So, however, since we need to give the uh, 30 day payment with 5 gold pieces a day, that would mean we need to get her 150 gold pieces. The, That's a lot of, of gold. Of that is a lot of gold. Well, at least with that guy. Mm -hmm. If we go with her quest, she'll waive the fee. I, I don't know much I have. Is it the GP part in the character G sheet? GP how is how much gold have? you have, yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Again, we could try and convince her for a discount because of, of of what we're actually trying to do. We could probably try and say to her, "Look, we're here not for gold or treasure. We're here to stop." Well, how about we try and convince okay. you um, first, and then go over to her? Maybe we tell her we pay you every day, and when we don't run out of money, you can abandon us. Uh, John. Yes. Where is uh, the gold piece supposed to be in the? Uh, GP. Yeah, what? GP. I know that, but where? Exactly. And, uh, so on your character sheet, items. under equipment, uh, yep. you have 40. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I have 14, but I don't. Oh, okay, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't see them. Okay. Yeah. We're too poor for this. Um. We're too poor for most of them. They're, they're all asking the same I, price, really. I feel we may need to. Well, she gives the rest of earn any money first. Well, she said it says here she gives the rest of charity. How about we offer to pay off the bit that she needs to pay to Jobel, and then say, you know, your charity is us saving the world on this. Yeah, earth. pretty much. Well, yeah. 
Come on, guys, you got to hurry up. I'm running out of songs here. Yeah. <laughs> He's nearly halfway through Bohemian Rhapsody right now. <laughs> so, yeah. so, well, I've, been, I've been questioning this fucking bar for hours, and I've not gotten anything out of it. It's, it's, either, it's, drunk. it's either Iku or... Uh, what's the name? Hazaka? Hazaka. Hazaka will actually... Uh, <laughs> uh, did, did shall we try... Shall we try Iku and try and convince her? And if we'll don't go to Azaka. Let's do that, but I'm not her. going I'm not going to do the convincing. Mm -hmm. Well, depending on whether we can convince the other two out of the bar. <laughs> okay. I choose Iku. Yeah. So well, how this do we we'll try to contact Iku. her. Uh, we'll see that later, maybe. Mm. I think John can switch to the bartender thing. Yeah, I'm mm. just look I'm trying to find things for this. <laughs> <laughs> Remember who you are, Simba. Why? Is <laughs> so, because uh, you're looking for artist Simba. Mm. Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha. Uh, the circle of love. Sean. <laughs> yes. The bartender. Oh God. Between. I hope we don't get Mufasa's death. Between several. He's come to serve you. <laughs> between several pints that he offers you. Uh, tells you of a, uh, of Omala, who was. Omar. Omala, who is the master colorist at the dye works. Who has mm -hmm. not been seen recently, and that's mm. unusual. Missing. Hmm. Mm. Unusual. Well, it, that is unusual. We will look into that. Thank you for your help, friend. <laughs> There's a lot of people in this jungle. And I leave. Is it easy coming to us like in the middle of the argument like we need this one, no this one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you're about three quarters of the way through the argument when uh, Look, sorry, sorry guys. Look, sorry guys, start from the beginning. <laughs> 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 I get I get brought up to speed fairly quickly. And <laughs> well, it's between these three, but we like these two. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the 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 duo there. They don't sound. Mm. So I'm happy with either one of these. But yes, we need to find them first. We need to find them, and we need to find their payment or convince them to negotiate. Very well. Uh, where should we go for that? Does it say where we can find them on this? <laughs> it doesn't say. Uh... <laughs> Flower in the game. <laughs> unless... Unless... We can, uh, go uh, to, we can try and go to this Jobal character as he seems to be in charge of them. I mean, we can try. But, well, at least I like a representative. Well, we need to find him as well. Mm. Either so him or a representative of him. Uh, the the note has a location to meet the person in. Hooray! Yay! A voice appears from the sky and tells you where it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kalembo. You I'm can see you, where between. to find them. Everywhere the light be. touches is our domain. <laughs> <laughs> it's our kingdom. That's someone else. <laughs> Remember me, who must you return. <laughs> so where is it? I am your father. So, so, so where is it exactly? Uh, who are you meeting? You want to meet Eku first? Eku first, yes. Uh, you can find her. At the thundering lizard. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> She's just been stood next to you this whole time. <laughs> She's the bartender. <laughs> <laughs> You're all just standing by the, just behind the post, just waiting for anyone. Come on! <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> from above the. <laughs> I hear you're looking for me. 
Uh, she will be at the public bathhouse tomorrow. Ooh. Uh, but Ooh. how do we get to meet her? I mean, we're all men. <laughs> or is it mixed? Yeah, she could be a mixed one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll find somewhere very else nice. for her, okay? Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> I was about to say, you better be very, very good with the description there of all. Yeah. Uh, she will be at good. the yeah. Hall of Gold tomorrow. Hall of Gold? Yeah. Okay. Right. Do you want to go? You how, wanna... about Az how about Azaka? Or are we going to have to wait another day? Uh, Azaka will be... What, what, is... what is she doing? At the public bathhouse tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm covered in fur, so I can fool people for a split <laughs> second, but not <laughs> much more. Very, like, waterlogged. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna start licking yourself instead. Uh, she will be at the harbour master's office. Ah, okay. Tomorrow, or right now. Um, it's it's starting to get a bit late in the day, so she'll probably be back in the morning. Very well. The, this is this is the voice calling us for for sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so, Bad time, guys. Right. <laughs> do, we, do we like try and gather more information first, or do we go? Just, uh, how did it went with the bartender? I'd like to visit uh, well, a bit more the bazaar, the there's market. A, there's a what man gone missing in, in the city, but I don't think that's really going to be anything to do with... I mean, we can investigate, but it's not really going to be anything to do with this, I don't feel. Maybe we'll find her by just uh, working? I don't know. We might. Ask about, ask in shops, ask in other places, I don't know. A lot of uh, information points to Camp Vengeance. Should we uh, head there? Uh, yeah. I don't think we should head there tonight, though. It's get, if it's getting dark, I it, believe we'll need a guy to get there, as it's not going to be in the city. They, hmm. they seem to be in the yeah, jungle, camp so. camp vengeance isn't within Port Neanzaru. I, I have since finished my performance, and <laughs> I'm assuming. Um, did you get uh, applause, or did, did people throw coins at you, or something? There was great okay. applause, and you managed to raise. Uh, about six gold pieces. Hooray! Hooray. So I, I walk out of the walk out of the bar, jingling a coin purse that I've got. So only thirty times more, and we might, and we can pay the guide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just do that Keep singing! Keep Just do that singing! I would, I would like to point out that I am I am extremely reluctant to give up any of my gold. Like, yeah, I figured more, that out already. <laughs> more so than normal. Like, you know, like I am. It, it's painfully obvious to you guys that the only way you're getting my coin purse is from my cold dead body. Well, as long as we don't find well, this thing in the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, are we finding a place to stay? Yeah, there should be an inn. Well, yeah. we can we can stay at the. Um... You can stay at the Thundering Lizard. Oh. Or we can stay at the. Or there's area. Kaya's House of Repose. I say repose. Yeah. Let us try repose. If it's too expensive, back to the Thundering Lizard. <laughs> yeah! And if it's too expensive, well, in the streets. Yes. <laughs> then we'll find a gutter somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good. I'm glad we're off to a good start. Yes. <laughs> um. You approach Kaya's House of Repose, and it's a nice, big establishment. A much more quiet establishment a few blocks further on uh, from the Thundering Lizard, so not even the noise of the Thundering Lizard itself gets this far. Uh, it, it's a nice, peaceful room. A uh, nice, peaceful tavern. Uh, you go inside, and you can see a half-orc sat in the corner. Mm-hmm. Um, the bata the, the batar tender, the batar tender <laughs> is stood behind the batar, <laughs> and uh, says, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
If, if you inquire how expensive a room is, a bed for the night costs one gold piece. Okay. That's like a nice, nice night's sleep as opposed to the kind of more raucous one of the Thundering Lizard. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm staying here. I vote for it. Well, I'm okay. Really I'm okay with it because I've made some. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> I made more money. Fair enough. Money, money, money. We would like a number of rooms equal to our number, please. <laughs> okay, so that's five gold pieces. Uh, okay, feel so free to mark one gold <laughs> piece off from so each we of you. Give one each. There we go. And he gives you keys to the room. Mm -hmm. And unless I, you want, to do I was gonna, I was going to inquire about um, the uh, camp Dinner. vengeance. Uh, camp vengeance. Uh, well, she'll know more. Says the batar tender. Uh, pointing to the half orc. So Yay. I just sidle up to sidle up to this half orc. What's she doing at the moment? Uh, she's got a drink, and um... so I just slump in the chair next to her, and I stretch out like you know, ah, oh, long day adventuring. You know, think about heading up to the camp vengeance tomorrow. Know anything about it? Just to picture the, the, the scene, <laughs> how tall is she? Uh, <laughs> yes. She is a half orc, so about six foot. And I'm a tiny, tiny half orc. So you've just climbed onto her lap and just. <laughs> no, I'm. <laughs> Your eyes are about table level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, she is wearing a chainmail outfit. Similar Ooh. in style to uh, the dragonborn within your party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you see round her neck, she's got a... Um... Spoon? <laughs> she does not... <laughs> she, she does not have a spoon. <laughs> hanging, hanging from her neck, she has a right gauntlet. <clears throat> I, I was almost okay. hoping it was the shrunken head of a halfling. <laughs> 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 if she turns around, she's slapping you in the face. So the her, her necklace is a, a white gauntlet, and it's the right okay. hand. Hmm. Isn't that yeah. the opposite hmm. of what his, his gauntlet necklace is? I don't know. That's no, mine's funny... a... Mine's a skeletal. His is a heart. skeletal hand. So I, I I lean in because I have a, a I like shiny shiny baubles and trinkets. So I just I just lean right in and I start poking it. And that's a really interesting necklace you've got there. She Where'd slaps you your hand away. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Come on, I'm only trying you to take be friendly. Thirty-seven points of damage. You Halfling just splatters up the walls. <laughs> oh no, that's racist. Oh, uh, well, that's not very friendly, is it? I'm just trying to be, be, you know, all friendly. It's a like holy you. symbol. Please show some respect. Oh, a holy symbol. <laughs> Someone like you dressed up in all of that chainmail armor. That's not very, very much. Apparently, work, Sean, though. your memory of religion is failing you. <laughs> I know, I know, it's just, I don't know. I've been drinking a lot today. <laughs> You've been drinking a lot, it's, it's, it's on it's the tip of your hot. tongue. <laughs> Carboom, Can you I think, guess what it is? you think, Carboom, that the gauntlet would look very good holding a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I have a practical mind. <laughs> Meanwhile, Theodas, you remember that this is the holy symbol of Torm. Torm. All the, of all the fucking rolls, the fucking I fail on tour. <laughs> <laughs> you have been one, drinking one, quite one heavily. Of, one of the most prevalent fucking gods in fucking D and <laughs> Torm, otherwise known as the True or the Loyal Fury. <laughs> mm, nice. 
So, the hand of righteousness. Can I can I make a persuasion check to try and convince her to tell me a little bit more about why she's wearing a holy symbol and doubled up in armor? You you don't need to because she will talk Good. about it. Hooray! My ba, name. Ba, 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 ba. Seeing as I've just been splatted against the wall, <laughs> <laughs> your, your face pokes out of the yeah. of muscle and blood. By the way. My name is Undril Silvertusk. I am a representative of the Order of the Gauntlet. That's tall, um, isn't it? Repeat the connection was buggy for a moment. Uh, I, I am Undril Silvertusk. I am a representative of the Order of the Gauntlet, and I have newly arrived in Port Nianzaru. I was meant to be going to Camp Vengeance um, to deliver this packet of dispatches and my services uh, to uh, Commander Niall's Breakbone. Breakbone? Oh my god, I wouldn't let me eat him in a dark alley. Now, listen, um, you say Camp Vengeance, we were thinking about heading up that way ourselves tomorrow. Um, don't suppose you wouldn't mind, uh, you know, me and my fine associates tagging along. Um, we'd be happy to, to spare a little bit of coin for your services. Oh, I would welcome um, the welcome the uh, assistance in getting there. I, I was told that I could simply hire a horse but uh, I... seeing the landscape out there, that's clearly not the case. Oh, well, that's that's great. I mean, it's, uh, you know, someone like you going up to Camp Vengeance must be, uh, must be pretty serious stuff. I mean, they don't normally send in half orcs, you know, from the from the white gauntlet. Was it white gauntlet? You said I, I you know, I, I feel like I feel like there must be something rather strange going up there. I mean, we well, were sent here. Right? It, it, it's been an unending fight with the undead, and quite frankly, it's it was probably not going very well from the sounds of things. If they need the help of a priest. Well, uh, okay. Um, so, what do you think, guys? Are we we shall we uh, help help the nice lady out with her with her journey up there? As we need to go there anyway, yeah. it would make sense to go in numbers rather than alone. Of course. Mm. Once again, it's quite logical. Oh, I'll just nod. I mean, I'm, in, I'm only going as far as Make Camp way. Vengeance, so if you intend to go further than that, I suggest you maybe find a, we a guide. We may be going further, but we need to head there first. Yeah. By the way, I have a question. Are you some kind of... are you a paladin? I'm a priest. Oh, I'm a cleric. I didn't know that. Hmm. I didn't know that. Hmm. Surprising. See, the thing is, guys, if she can get us up to Camp Vengeance, that's all the half the journey done. I thought we could figure it out the rest. Oh of the yeah. Day. We need to find the guide first. We need. Well, I'm. To, 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 to keep your keep your voice down. Like we're trying to save myself thirty gold pieces here. Cause if we can she get it done on the... Guide us the whole way. We'll need a guide. Yeah. We, well, we could meet someone up there. There might be someone heading out in the direction. I mean, what better protection would there be? The Camp Vengeance is finest. I mean, they'll be doled up to the nines with armor and swords. And That's everything. a gamble. We don't need to take a risk. Well, you know, to, to be quite frank, I don't want anyone taking a risk with my coin. You don't know any guides anyway. They could just take and us you... out into the jungle and murder us. You don't know and, that. And, and you prefer so, taking a risk with your, with your life, then? She's a priest. I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about the rest of the boys. Yeah, she's, she's really going to Camp Vengeance. She won't. Go, she won't take us any further. We we'll need to go further. No, 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 no listen, listen to me. Look, 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 I've I've worked really hard for these thirty gold pieces. I, they, they, you, I'm not just giving them to someone. Just, you know, <laughs> just not giving them to anyone. They, You're not I, the only one paying. You don't right. understand economics, do you? <laughs> yeah, but no. <laughs> no. To be honest with you guys, I've only got three gold pieces, nine silver pieces, six. So I've got eight gold, nine silver, and four copper. Yeah. I mean, you were a monk, so it's expected. <laughs> but I do have a shovel. I don't have that much money to play. Well, I'm, 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 maybe I'm just, the gamble just makes more sense when we're placing. Fine, I'm, uh, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm not happy about it, but you know, I, I, if I was trying to help out, and 
you guys. We appreciate the help. I agree Our intentions with you. are good, but we need someone who knows this land. Well, if, if you guys all end up in the tail end of the dinosaur, crying to me after it. <laughs> hey, maybe we'll stumble, stumble upon her again, and maybe this time she go where we need to go. I think I just, smooth tongue can do that. My smooth tongue can do anything. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> oh, Give it a go. Try. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm getting all a bit wound up by the people, by them not listening to me. So I'm getting. Um, <laughs> I was listening to you. I agree with you. Increasing. We should take the gamble. <laughs> you agree with everything. I agree with you right now, and that's all that's important. I don't think we should do the gamble. <laughs> I was hoping you was agreeing with me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with you. <laughs> Look, this whole world is a, it's an imagination. It's a dream. We need to try and take the gambles, and that's the best way to get the best outcome for ourselves. By going, by going in the jungle without even knowing where we're going to? For the sake of knowledge, yes. Have you seen our map? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but we can fill it. We can slowly open it and go through and find the different spaces for the sake of Look, truth and so knowledge and beauty. All of those all of those guys at Camp Vengeance are fighting the undead. Surely yeah. it will lead us to where the undead are coming from, which will surely lead us to what we're after. Exactly. Um, I'm not sure they will do that as they are losing the battle and have no, 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 no. Yeah, But what if we went to them and told them we had we a way for them the to end. win the battle? We don't have a way of winning this battle. From what the merchant told us, the undead have been here for decades, centuries. This death curse has only started recently. The Unless undead the people are here, but I don't think they're a cause. But the people at the camp, they might have seen something which hasn't been mentioned down here. I'm, Why either, scare either the people of the villages? Either way, I'm not arguing we don't go to the camp. But I say we get a guide and then go to the camp. Hmm. Sean is sounding like someone who's played this campaign before. I, no, I'm, really, I'm really talking sense. We're going to an uncharted jungle without any guide. <laughs> I can go with my colleagues just there. <laughs> So it's we are at, we are at we are at an impasse. So there's what two, I mean, two we could with go one to, left. We could go to Camp Engines, and there could be guides there, but we don't know that. But equally, we don't know that the guides that we've got here are going to take us out into the jungle and where we need to be. We could go on a wild goose chase for for days, months. We haven't we haven't even asked them. Well, Which I'm be... just. I'm we just saying, be... she's going to where we kind of need to be, so let's... Well, I... well let's I... find the middle ground then. We talk to them tomorrow because she's offering... She was talking about us actually finding a guide. So why don't we find a guide tomorrow and then go off to the camp? So wait, she... is, is she still here right now? Yeah, <laughs> she's just listening to yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> We We are an arguing bunch, we are. <laughs> I know, right, Ella? It's because we're highly intelligible. So I just ask her if if uh, there may be some guides and at the camp to know about it. Well, I mean, there's probably not <laughs> going to be anybody at the camp that can go with you. Why not? Well, they're all they're all fighting. They're all fighting. They all have no man to spare, <laughs> and they can come with us and fight alongside us. And leave we the try camp. to stop the perch. And but, leave the camp. But if we fight the, the undead on, on our side, that's so much that we that's less fighting for you. Oh God! Just just don't forget, between you lot, you guys all rocked up to that place, you know, in your finery with everything strapped to you. I was caught up there in chains. I've got no intention of being a dinosaur's dinner as much as you guys are, but you know. Well, I you didn't don't... know why I was going there. They just asked me, and I said yes. And besides, wasn't the the purpose of our quest? Isn't it to put an end to the necromancy? So if we manage to well, our our job is to find the soulmonger and the cause of the death curse. 
Yeah. Well, meaning, I if mean, you take it with us, it has By all means, I would love nothing more than to destroy every single filthy undead. Do you think we I should speak. divulge our quest to the cleric? So maybe our goals go together? Possibly. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure the the, the disease is actually causing the necromancy. No, the, the necromancy's been here for a long time. Yeah, the so... The curse is just killing the ones which have come back. Why would they want to help us? Basically, we should more like avoid the undead and destroy the disease more than just kill every undead and not do the job. Exactly. <laughs> Even I know, I, I used to people. do the same, Ella. There's obviously no reasoning with you, gu with you guys. Fine. I'm not happy about it, but we'll go and see your guides. But if if I end up costing me more coin, I, I'm not I'm not going to be happy about it. Fine, don't be happy about it. Don't be happy, but we'll at least speak with you, at the very minimum. Uh, and I go and sulk off to my room, obviously defeated in conversation by people who are a lot bigger and louder than me. <laughs> it's going to be on my nose for the whole trip, this one. <laughs> he does sound like he's very unwilling to part with coin. Well, you sure about that? If we some treasure, if we find some treasure, he'd be happy and we, we won't be happy. Admittedly, guess... this land may hold many riches, but we'll see. By the way, I shout, from, I, I shout from another corner, YOU DON'T KNOW THAT! <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there were fair mentions of treasure in the guy's uh, handout. Well, if, I, if we find some treasure, we can we can be sure we won't see a single coin of it. Why not? Haven't you heard what he said earlier? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Certainly makes you question. Anyway... We Hello. have a plan for tomorrow, so I'll see you yes. tomorrow. I'm going to tomorrow. rest as well. I'm Until at, tomorrow, my friends. I'm at the bar, I have another drink. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you can't reckon, recognise basic religious symbols. <laughs> <laughs> They're all a bit blurry now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, having, I'm, only, so I'm only having the one, and then I'm going up to bed. Well, I say going up to bed, going up to, going up to my room, saying a, saying a little... Having a little a moment, and then going to bed. I'm in my room rubbing my spoon. <laughs> well, I got a commute before eating the dinner. I like touching my rusty spoon with my salad. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! You can't get the weapon, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're sinful woman, you. <laughs> You have a nice, quiet evening of slumber. <laughs> Hooray. And the dawn comes. <laughs> that one's not close by, Sean. <laughs> but somehow, I, somehow, Torin feels that should occur. It doesn't. It, do it sadly does not. It's an odd feeling. Of... <laughs> Something is missing today. Uh, but dawn breaks across the city of uh, Port Nianzaru. <laughs> uh, the market traders start trading on the market. <laughs> Rather than, you know... Such emotive the descriptions <laughs> there, John. Uh, the minstrels start mincing. Uh... And there are like a couple of lords in there leaping. And... There are a couple of lords leaping. There are a couple of ladies dancing. Dancing. Um, I don't know there were maids are milking. <laughs> maids are a milking. Uh, and it's a, a partridge get in a pear tree. Hall. You need to get to the halls of gold. The halls of gold yes. are not very difficult to spot. They're up here. <laughs> They're a big fuck off hall of gold. They are, in fact, a big fuck off hall of gold. <laughs> uh, the 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 roof of this whole temple is uh, appears to be shining gold. Uh, it, it's fabulous in the morning sunlight. Blinding uh, almost. Almost <laughs> blinding from the wrong angles. 
I just stare <laughs> at it completely dumbfounded. Like, I just don't know what to do with myself. We stagger into it, our retinas burned off. <laughs> uh, it is the temple to Wakeen, uh, mm. who is a god of trade and wealth. Yes. Um, and it is on the highest point of the city, so as you can see, it's up quite a number of stairs. <laughs> um, we finally get up. And... <gasps> <gasps> as you go past, some of the some of the residents of the city are wandering around, and they mention that it's it's pure gold. The, the roof. Pure. It's, it's pure burnished gold. Lovely, lovely money. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, people, I need. I think we need to get the halfling going because it's not moving. <laughs> <laughs> what? But what? How did they get so much? Oh. Wow! Has anyone? Leading him along while he just stares at the room. <laughs> Has anyone got a ladder? Just a, just a ladder. Just no, we don't have let a ladder. me stand on your ladder. shoulders. Right. Just, don't 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 make, <laughs> anybody looking at the roof can make a perception check. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Jerry thinks he's made a copper. <laughs> Jerry's just think it's gold. It's pure <laughs> gold. That that whole roof is gold. <laughs> how did they get so much gold in one place? And how and why the fuck they make a roof out of it? Oh, <laughs> why are they wasting it on a rooftop? Why is it so it, high because, up away from me? It was playing Minecraft. <laughs> It's like they knew I was coming and everything. <laughs> Meanwhile, your elven contingent noticed that it's just painted. <laughs> so I, I, I have a sly smile on my face while I'm <laughs> It's gold, it's gold. And then I, in my head, I'm like, do I tell him or not? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah, let, let's, just, let's just keep the dream for him a bit. Let, let him be happy. <laughs> <laughs> you come back the next day, he's up on the roof trying to carve it. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone's getting disappointed. Uh, you head inside and you find uh, Eku is there donating the latest uh, her latest earnings to uh, the priests of Joaquin. Uh, she is a uh, female uh, dressed in a light blue robe, carrying a walking stick carved like a um, what is it? What does it look like? Like a, a snake. Panda. <laughs> it's a it, it's a snake. Um, Scroot. <laughs> with <laughs> spoon. Just under just under where her handhold is on the. Um, snake walking stick are two feathered wings. Uh, mm. She's about five foot six inches tall. I don't know how you can tell this, but she weighs about 110 pounds. Because <laughs> <laughs> why not? <laughs> I have no idea if it's something, but yeah, no. snake. Uh, no. Mm. Doesn't doesn't ring a bell. Yeah. Everyone, make a thing. <laughs> ben, you think That's she worships no a snake? <laughs> so what is it? Everyone else is doing a religion check. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> for a, they for made a, the roof of gold. <laughs> <laughs> I suddenly noticed the ceiling. Fucking hell! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Theodas, it, it's not a holy symbol. It's... Okay. It's, it's a coattle. Oh. 
it's a star. It, it's stylized. It's it, it's not a lifelike <laughs> representation of the <laughs> animal. <laughs> Everything is disappointment here. Painted <laughs> But she she leans on it and turns to you. And you have business. You look like the people who would have business. Um, I'm, I'm kind of looking at the halfling like you should be the one talking, but you are not <laughs> able to talk right now. <laughs> I step forward because fuck it. <laughs> no. uh, uh, yes, we are seeking a guide. To we're not quite it's sure as to where, but we're at least going to camp vengeance soon, and then from then further. Uh, we are strangers in this land, and we wish we are we are heading south of Mobala, you big black oaf. Yes, but that's not where the thing is. We just have been told to go there. <laughs> well, I, I know Mabala very well. Good. I can definitely guide you to Mabala. Yeah. Uh, right, so, just apparently, we've, we've been told to seek out uh, somewhere called o Oralunga. Which is ah, so yes, Oralunga. You know it. I know of Oralunga. It's, it's, yeah, it, it's south of Mabala. Yeah. Hooray. If you if you oh. don't know where you're headed, other than Oralunga, then I'm assuming that you are going to visit the Guardian. Yeah. We have been told to visit the Guardian. Yes. Oh, yes. This is a wise move. If you if you know not where you are going, then the Guardian should be able to point you in the right direction. Well, as Wonderful. as I'm sure you've uh, as I'm sure you know, the standard. Standard contract is five gold pieces a day, thirty days up front. I suddenly snap out of my trance. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, money! What? Is, is there, <laughs> I don't suppose I could persuade you to maybe negotiate your terms. We're, we're not exactly the most uh, wealthiest of travellers. Um, you know, I understand that your cause is just, and you to, to, to obviously you very generously donate your 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 fees. Um, but uh, we 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 haven't got much to go on right now, you see, gold wise. And uh, it, I was wondering, maybe we could pay you on the uh, on route, um, a share of the spoils, perhaps. Uh, roll a persuasion check. Ooh. <laughs> roll good, damn it! Uh, that was a performance um, check. Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> so suddenly you started no. singing and dancing ah. instead. <laughs> That's a lot worse! <laughs> I'm making a big song and dance about it. <laughs> the song and dance is fabulous. The persuasion, however, less so. Yeah, um, I can have weird 